All righty, welcome back, everybody. Well, some of y'all are probably whipping up breakfast right now. How would you like to add a link of sweet and spicy Filipino breakfast sausage on the side of those scrambled eggs for a pop of flavor. Well, this morning we have Darren Young joining us live with he and his wife's brand new line of breakfast sausages headed to a schnook store in your neighborhood very soon. And I'm telling you guys, it smells so good out here. So Darren, welcome. Thank you. Thank okay, you so tell us what we have here. Absolutely. Uh, this is the fattened calf, uh, newest line of Filipino style sausage. It's called longanisa. It's typically eaten for breakfast. So right over here we have uh, what's called Filipino brunch. It's usually served with a fried egg, garlic rice, pickled cabbage, and some tomatoes on the side. Mm. Uh, and over here we have the American style, uh, which is really just serving the sausage uh, as, a, as a brat or eating it as a hot dog. Uh, the Filipino style sausages, what that is, it's uh, typically a, a sweeter and a savory uh, style sausage. So, okay. yeah. so tell me a little bit about you guys' background. So you guys came here from L.A., you yep. and your wife, and you started out with backyard barbecues. So just give me that whole backstory. Yeah, uh, man, I've always been a food since as long as I remember okay. and when I moved to st. Louis for the first time uh, ten years ago uh, barbecue here just changed my life okay. my only point of reference for barbecue was Chili's baby back ribs and, <laughs> okay. uh, I, I moved here I had a uh, Pappy's smokehouse actually was my my uh, gateway into uh, the uh, uh, American barbecue scene and it changed my world uh, a few years after that I, I bought myself a small smoker in my backyard and just started cooking um, and shortly after that me and my wife started hosting game nights and uh, dinner parties in our house um, and she introduced me to Filipino food Filipino barbecue uh, to be specific so. okay and so you guys are having this go to schnook stores yes. in Missouri and Illinois so super Missouri exciting and Illinois you guys can have this at your house and eat it yourself so tell me a little bit about that process and getting it in stores absolutely uh, so we're in 67 schnook stores right now 67 um, and uh, about a year ago schnooks approached us to uh, they invited us to join their local restaurant initiative which was the COVID response uh, that they had to uh, serve local restaurants and uh, they asked us if we wanted to serve ready-to-eat meals uh, so we thought it would be a great opportunity to, to highlight the longanisa um, and out of that partnership we uh, really we, we realized that uh, we developed a, a huge following for the Longanisa. Okay. Um, so after a year of uh, selling our products on the shelves, we got a USDA label approved, um, and now we're available to sell our products in any retail store through the United States. Congratulations. Thank that you is so much. Huge. Thank you. Okay, so Darren, if we go and buy this at the store, tell us how we can cook it. He has it uh, on the grill right now, on our Weather Deck grill, so it's yes. smoking over there. It's smelling super good. <laughs> how, can, how do you prepare this for people who go pick it up. Absolutely. You can almost cook it anyway, um, but the best way I would say would be on the grill or putting it on your smoker. But uh, sausage is best to me when it has that nice char and crust. Uh, mm. So I always do it on the grill. If you're doing it at home, you can butterfly it, put it on a cast iron pan or any any kind of uh, nonstick pan uh, and just give it some color. These are fully cooked, fully smoked. Uh, so it's really just heat and serve. You could even put it in the microwave if you want it. Don't necessarily recommend it, but it's made <laughs> to be so easy uh, for you to have Filipino uh, breakfast or uh, have it American style if you like. Alrighty, thank you so much for joining us. Smells super, super good. I'm going to try some when we get off air. I don't want you guys to hear me smacking. If you guys would like to see this interview again, just go to our website, fox2now.com, and it will be there. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Us. Thank you.